come to these sessions about how to play the double bass. So the first thing is our bow hold. And if you imagine taking a satsuma and holding it, just look at the way your thumb is on the bow, on the satsuma. Yeah, you don't wanna press so hard that you break the fruit. So imagine taking that shape, see how your thumb is bent and putting that on the bow like that. That's one of the really important things about using the bow. The next thing is the weight of the bow, how you feel that, sort of doing some circles and feeling maybe the weight at the top. And then as you're walking along, see how your arm swings, that's the natural movement you need also for the bass bow. And you see, as our balance moves from side to side, we can use that even when sitting down with the bass. So that, that travel that way. So once we've got our balance position, the really important thing about the bow is that we get our weight between these two little fingers on the outside evenly distributed, like a seesaw. So the balance at the point is really important for our first finger to be in charge and at the heel for our little finger to be in charge. And that goes along with the movement of our weight into the right side and then into the left side. And at the same time, the bass is moving away from us on the down bow great sound on the bass, we need to be really relaxed, let all our muscles unfold. And then it's about the place you choose, straight to the bridge. So measure from the bridge on the top string, that's the angle. And then rotating. So it's gonna look a lot different to you, that angle on the bottom string, and that angle on the top string. So on the top string, the point looks a lot closer to you. And then you can play the grab and go game, nudging the string down, grab and go. To start the notes, all you're doing is lifting that pressure, applying it again, letting go. Slow notes, we wanna use the whole arm. Shorter notes, half the bow. From the elbow, and then the wrist. This is a great way to see the angle of the bow. the string is pulled down by the weight of your arm. So the big journey is about getting past the neck and then free movement there and keeping your posture upright. So elbow goes up on the inside of the string and then dragging the hand back down. With the left hand, what's really important in the lower positions is pulling down. So if you put your hand on the scroll there, and let your arm move around and then transfer that to there. So from this angle, we've got lots of pull on the arm and then our fingers just wanna be like a fist opening out. So really important is the hook on the first finger and we want to start with having all four fingers down. How hard do you need to press? Well, just converting a harmonic 
to a stop note. And then you could practice some exercises where we're practicing going up on one, back on four. And being really, really fluid with the movement. So in thumb position, the area from here upwards, the most important thing is thinking that the weight of the left hand is like leaning on a shelf like this. So it's that way, very relaxed. It's just your arm weight that pulls the string down. So you want to be thinking that it's your hand position and the combined weight of your arm that puts the string down. And very important to measure that first tone, squeezing the thumb to get closer, and then one tone, second semitone, 